Hi Glams, I'm going to show you how to do a quick after five makeup featuring a statement red lip. So let's begin. Now as you can see I have my foundation already applied, my Harlot Afterglow Foundation in H3, it's already on. And I'm going to go straight into the business of contouring the face. So from the middle of the ear up towards, well up sort of under where the cheekbone should be, up and around. So blend, blend, blend. So I think I've got the appearance of a bit of a shaped face now, which is always a good thing. Um, with my next B Delia brush, it just gives the eyes shape. Doesn't take much. Fluff brush, bronzer, or a matte eyeshadow in a warm brown or taupe colour, and voila, you have shaped those eye holes. Now this is a great makeup, again, if you are over 40, because you know it's a going out makeup without having to use 25 products. Who's got the time? We're going to move right onto the lips. Now, I've not done this before. I normally do the lips last, but this is a statement lip makeup, so let's get in there. Let's do the lips. I'm going to shape my lips with a lip liner by Harlot called Naked Beige. It is a nude. You don't have to use a liner. I'm going to do so for this look. So outline those lips kind of helps also when you are using a statement lip colour because it's giving you a bit of a parameter where not to go outside goes on like a dream can I just say uh, this is called lip maestro why I love this is because it's matte it's long wearing but for those of us who are getting a little bit older it's not drying and take the time you know you can't really slap on a red lip so having a clean lip brush on hand is handy when it comes to the business of applying the statement lip color um, and you can just sort of just move bits that you think are a bit you know how's your father I'm going to move right onto the blush. Now, I do prefer cream blushes, as you may or may not know. For the blush application, always good to smile. And just apply it on the tops of those apples. So if you are in your 40s and over, keep in mind that you're probably going to apply your blush a little higher than you used to. This is just to counteract the more heavy under eye baggage and to lift your face a little bit. So here we have the statement lip, the peachy cheek. You might think that's enough for me. I'll put on some mascara and out I go. But we're going to do a little bit more here at Glam Me Up today. I'm going to show you a product, another long wearing eye product by Bobbi Brown. Really easy to use. Simply whack it on the eyelid. Keep it away from the contour, however. We don't want shimmery gold in that area. Make sure the bottom lower lash line meets with the top. So your eye is just basically encased in a halo of gold metallic pencil. Curling the lashes, next step. As you know, this is something that I've spoken about and it does open the eyes up, widens the eyes. I'm going to whack on some mascara. Roots to tips with the mascara. We'll do a little bit under the, on the bottom lashes. Don't forget the eyebrows. Let's give them a bit of a brush. Fill them in if you need to. I've chosen a makeup store eyebrow trio. I'm using a sort of a khaki colour just to fill in the brows ever so gently. We don't want them too heavy. Well, Glams, I think we're ready to hit the town. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this quick and simple after five makeup featuring a classic red lip. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you soon.